Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is kind of a problem-solving video. I had something happen tonight while I was making a video, and I couldn't quite understand what Corel was doing. Because if you have an item like this, and what I'm doing, I'm, I was drawing, this is actually for myself, I'm drawing a pentagon out of wood, and I needed to find out the angles, and I just wanted to uh, double-check that it would all fit together. But when I would go, can, so when I draw something like that, I want, I've want i got this 33 degree angle. Instead of drawing the angle again, I can just flip it over and then and I'll show you in just a second. But what Corel was doing something and it started in another video and I get people sending me files and open up their files and evidently maybe that's what had happened or I inadvertently changed it for a video and then didn't change it back. But I'm going to go control D and make a duplicate of that and then I'm going to mirror it. Well, it mirrors it way over here. And I kind of thought, well, I mean, what is it doing? How is it doing that? So I started thinking about it. And it's all to the relative position, which is right up here. Object origin. So you need to flip it from the center. So that normally should be checked. So let's go. Let's make sure we only have one copy there. Let's go control D and make a duplicate. And then we'll flip it. And now it flipped it on itself and I can take, I don't even need to cut this stuff away because it's, this is why I like the smart fill tool. Instead of that, just fill it in and then move your new item away, left click, right click. And now you don't have to weld it. You don't have to cut it because I think if you weld that, it's going to go like that. So that's one advantage to the smart fill tool. So if you ever have something move, that you mirrored, you know, like here it ought to do this, or it ought to do that. If you have something, look up in your object origin up top. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.